Roses on red! Red! Roses! half we did an exceptional job and what we did is we played through them you think about the collisions that we had and the tries we scored okay playing through the middle offload offload Marley's pick Leanne's snipe all came off really good go forward okay first half but second half we just didn't have any momentum for a number of reasons we did some really good stuff but we left a lot of opportunities and a lot of points out there in terms of selection, okay, uh, we're going to rotate the squad next week. There's no form issues whatsoever coming out of that game. I think everybody contributed really well. Some people had really, really strong games. Some people had really strong moments. All right, we're going to rotate. We were always going to rotate the squad. Absolutely, we'll have conversations as we go through the week about how people went and stuff like that. Feel free to come and talk to any coaches about it. But don't come with a question, is it how I played? Because it, it won't be. All right. We've made a, sort of about 10 changes altogether, some positional, most of them personnel. I and mean, we've got so many sort of really top class players now that we can do it in the knowledge that we aren't compromising the performance or we shouldn't be compromising the performance and the outcome that we're looking for. Because obviously, you know, our objective is to, is to win every game we play. So that's, that, that's what allows us to do it. Why do we do it? Well, we want to look at all the players. We want to see what the best combinations are, what the best fits are. Uh, we want to give leadership opportunities to players, be it in the forwards or, or in the backs. So there's a, there's a whole number of, of reasons we do it, uh, but, but the key bit is that we've, we've got the personnel. Rotation is just something that has to be done for the wider squad and something I massively buy into because anyone can get injured at any time and we need the next person to step in and be able to do the job for us. Um, obviously, I'm extremely gutted about selection because not only is it rotation, but I've actually been dropped fully out of the squad, which... which that this is my job and this is what I love doing so actually all the hard work I put into those training sessions the off-field stuff that I do and then not to be selected it, it is a tough pill to swallow but the girls are going to go out to Italy do a job I'll be supporting them from home with my little boy so you know the swings and roundabouts. Everybody wants to play every minute they can and, and certainly for, for England and so although they understand it this, the, it won't stop them being disappointed and we understand that and we would expect that. I want England to win, I want everyone to do well and that's even whoever's playing in my position at that time because it's team first and I'm definitely I would say 100% a team first player. Although they're all teammates they are, they're all also ultra competitive and they want the starting shirt. It breeds competition for places for sure and that's exactly what we want. Five. Please. This is one of my favourite hobbies in the evening in my hotel room. Here's my bath bomb. This is the ultimate setup. Right, hair mask, face mask. Got my two candles that I'm going to light up. Diet Coke, obviously. Got some yogurt, some fruit. Mm, see you in a bit. Face mask on, hair mask in. Let's enjoy my bath. So basically, first person will shoot. If they get it in, they go to the back. But whilst the first person's shooting, if they keep missing, the second person has an opportunity. If they get it in before them, then they lose a life. So you just keep going. We got two lives because we're quite bad. Uh, I'm not very good at it. I think you need to pick someone else. 
Oh, all right, all right. Amy, tell her how bad I was a minute ago. Yeah, she was Practice really Practice makes perfect. Why is she so cold? She actually didn't do it. I had to get scared to do it. Huh? <laughs> 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 my shirt. No, you do it. You do it well, Amy, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> Amy. Being captain for your country is, I think, the ultimate honour. It never gets old. I'm still as proud doing it now as the first time I was asked to be captain. Um, it's so, so special and something that not many people um, have the honour to, to do. Um, yeah, it means everything. I think first and foremost, she's important to the team because of the quality of her ability as a player. You know, she has a massive presence on the field. Her work rate's phenomenal and the quality of her work is phenomenal. That's the mark of a true champion. Uh, but then she'll reflect that in the gym and she'll reflect that in the, the classroom when we're doing work, you know, in, in meetings, everything she does. It's 100% it's, it's committed, it's 100% professional. She's the standard bearer as well as being a fantastic player. So yeah, she's a, she's a tremendous player, great person and, and an absolute asset to us. There's a few jobs that um, I guess captaincy brings. You know, you've got your standard like coin toss before a game, the chatting to the ref on the pitch, the huddles, um, hopefully not too many when you're behind the post or just trying to like problem solve on the pitch. We have a strategy group, so contribution to that. Hey, always find a front row the, in the food queue. Strawberries, athlete. Thank you. It's a ding dang do or proper scran it. <laughs> Santa, I'm on old girl watch. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you glad to be in the club, bro? I am glad. I'm very glad to be in the club. Nearly 30. Uh, nearly 30. Um, I'm just getting ready and you know. It's all about the recovery. You're the old girl as well. I was about to say, I was on double old girl watch. <laughs> what are you doing? Me? Yeah. I'm just keeping Santa coming <laughs> <laughs> But what are you doing hanging around with the old girls? <laughs> I don't actually have an excuse, bro. It's Thursday and I've just had a catch up with Emily, our comms manager, about the virtual press conference. Everything's virtual these days. Um, that's going to happen shortly this morning. Emily's quite good at at briefing about the things that have been in the news headlines. So hopefully it won't be anything that um, I'm not expecting. Uh, morning all, hope you're all well. Thank you for joining us uh, this morning. Um, we've got Simon Middleton and Sarah Hunter on the call this morning. Obviously when when the squad comes out and you see your name, you're like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in. Yeah, there's some pace in there, in that back row. You talking about me, Mid? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I just like to say, I got a PB in my speed last week. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. You have your media stuff, you have your sponsor stuff, uh, representing the side at any number of events or, or, or whatever. She can balance so many things and, and not let it affect her play. You know, even with 124 caps, she still wants to go on the training field and she still wants to be better every time she trains and plays and demands that of the people around her. So that's the type of stuff that you want from the captain. It's you know, pure leadership qualities. But then, you know, being able to have the right temperament, being able to speak to players one-on-one, -on -one, being able to speak to the group, to the media, relay stuff with the coaches and get messages across. It's, uh, yeah, it's an all-encompassing job. And, uh, you know, she, she steps up to the plate every time. What is that? <laughs> My pillow. My pillow like that. Oh, very nice. I right, sit next to her with that. She's probably smelled. <laughs> How long you had it? I knew it's How long you had this in Disney? <laughs> From Disney, California. Smells, <laughs> smells musty. Yeah. Probably sick on it when I was a child. <laughs> How exciting! I haven't been on a plane in forever! What makes a good captain? Uh, I think, for me personally, it's someone that is authentic and someone is true to who they are as a person. And it's something I've probably 
found along the way. No one gives you um, a manual of how to be captain or you kind of get put into it. Um, and it's something I still think I'm, I'm developing and learning how to become the, the best captain. But I think at the start, I probably thought oh, I've had these different captains and I've got to be like them. And I think the biggest lesson I found is that just be who you are because you're more genuine and then people are more likely to to listen, to, to see the, the captain. And, and I think for me and my captaincy style, it, it's probably like leading by example. So the standards that I set and what I try to uphold and behaviours are, are what, I, what I'd like to see that the squad would do and follow. And I think if, if I'm not authentic, I'm not genuine, people won't buy into that. And I think that's, that's really important. Everyone's different, but for me, uh, a good cap captain leads from the front and leads by example. So not necessarily the words they use, but the actions they do. Like different captains need to do different things. Some captains are more just leaders on the pitch. Um, I feel like it's, it's just got to be the right vibe within the group. Santa has done so much for the team and she is just the perfect representation of an England Red Rose for us. I spoke to her last week to tell her that we weren't going to play her in the Scotland game. We wanted another week's training from her. Uh, the very first thing she said was, can I, can I run the water? and do the messages, kind of just be around the squad, just keep me involved, you know, and, that, and that's, that's her to a T, you know, no, big to, no job too big, no job too small, uh, most humble person I've, I've ever met to be absolutely honest and, uh, you know, probably one of the most talented as well. What we're trying to do is create something that other teams can't match. The difference will be the second half of games, not the first half of games, or the last 20. Or even in, in the very biggest of games, the last 10 or 15 minutes will be the difference. Not what happens at the start. We, we're building somewhere that will take us away from teams, that will get the job done when they can't sustain it. And we can only do that if we execute and complete. So stay in the moment, okay? Play every play on its merit, stay in the moment and keep going until the final whistle at the intensity you can and with the execution and the, the concentration. Really, really important. <laughs> That intensity that we had in attack against Scotland that first half, that's what we need to see. And the same in defence, you know, go pressure them, go force them to make mistakes. And we want to play at a tempo that they can't live with. If we don't get our discipline right, we can't do any of that, yeah? We can't go forward, we can't keep the ball, we're giving them opportunity to come back. That bit for us is the foundation for how we want to play the game this week. Right, big day for us, really. No, great conditions for us. Let's go out, let's really enjoy it, yeah? Let's go.
As soon as they, they cracked, we cracked it up again and we went again. Scored some absolutely fantastic tries. It was a fantastic second half performance. It was, listen, it was a dogged first half. It wasn't great, okay, but we hung in there. Second half, we recognised what we wanted to do and we did it. We put a really good second half performance together. Everybody's put a fantastic effort in, all right. We've come away 67-3. That's a fair result. We're asking the absolute highest of standards of ourselves at the moment, aren't we? And we'll continue to, yeah? That is a, that is a great result. Fantastic on the scoreboard. Great second half. We know we can be better. We will be better. Well done, girls. Good stuff. Excellent. I love being back out there. I feel like I'm a bit rusty. Need a bit more game time under my belt. But yeah, nice to get the first one done. And what a win. Yeah.